guys and welcome to a new Mahle vlog. Well, we are here in sunny Berlin for the Formula E race and I'm currently standing on the track. Well, I will take you along with me for the whole weekend. And today it's Thursday and we were going to have a really cool insight um, of the garage of our team HWA Race Lab. And there will be something more because there will be an interview with Stoffel van Dorn. So, let's go! Stoffel van Dorn today and he's going to answer some of our questions. Well, Stoffel, thank you so much for being here today. Well, this is like the first season in Formula E. What's like the biggest challenge for you? Yeah, exactly. It's my, my first year in the championship and uh, yeah, it's been a big learning curve for, for all of us because also the team is, uh, HWA has been new to the series and, and yeah, I mean, coming into the series is it, very different than any other kind of motorsport that I've, uh, I've been used to. So uh, there's been a lot of new things, especially the way the cars are, are, are driving, the way you have to operate certain things. So uh, yeah, it's been been a big learning curve up until here, but um, I'm, I'm really enjoying the challenge. Mm -hmm. Did you have any like highlight of the season so far? Well, my highlight of the season must be must be Rome because that was my first uh, first podium of, uh, of the year. Um, but I think also Hong Kong was a really nice one where I had a pole position. Um, which was then followed by a mechanical failure in the race, unfortunately. But uh, you know, that's that's motorsport. Sometimes it's uh, highs and lows, and and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can create a few more nice moments this year. Well, good luck for that. Um, what would you say? What's the relationship between your teammate Gary and your wife? Uh, Gary and I get a, get along very well because I mean, we both come from kind of different backgrounds. Gary was you know very successful in DTM. I come from Formula One, which is uh, you know something something very different, and um, we both have a lot of experience in motorsport. So uh, um, I think yeah, we get along very well. We're also a little bit at different stages in our in our careers, let's say. So that makes it maybe a little bit easier to uh, yeah to, to to get along. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any rituals or maybe lucky charms before the race, or yeah, well something that you that you used to do before the race? Um, I, d I don't have anything particular, no. Um, I, the only thing I, I say I would do is kind of get in the car from the left hand side. That's, uh, that's the only thing I do all the time, but there's even not a specific reason for that, probably because it's more comfortable for me. Okay, so you don't listen to any specific songs or something? No, no, not at all. Okay, okay. do you have any plans for the Berlin Ypres? Um, no, not specific plans, no. I mean, this event will be a little bit different than, uh, than the other ones because we have the practice sessions on, on Friday and then uh, qualifying in the race on, on Saturday. So we'll see, uh, you know, kind of see how, uh, how that will go. I think hopefully we can have a positive, uh, positive surprise again. There's a, uh, you know, Formula E, everything is possible. So uh, we've been preparing well for this event and for the team's home race as well. I hope we can, we can really deliver strong results. Thank you so much. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you, for the Thank team. You. And I'd say, well, bye. Well, we are now doing the track walk um, together with the drivers and the engineers, and they are checking on some difficult parts of the track. Maybe, for example, the curbs or other parts, and so they can change up their setup. So, guess who we ran into? It's Sophia Flersch, one of the well fastest girls in motorsports. Sophia, how is it to be here? Yeah, super nice. So, um, with this weather here, it's, it's incredible. And you know, we got found E this weekend, and um, I'm sadly not here the whole time, but it's really difficult to well, could you imagine driving a Formula E car yourself? Um, well, I was supposed to do a test in Riyadh um, in December, but then, yeah, I had a little crash. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to do it as soon as possible. I hope I'm going to test it as soon as possible, because I think it's kind of the future, and we'll see where we end, or where the Formula E is going to end up. Um, well, I was doing it in the sim already, and it's, I think it's pretty cool. Actually. Memories 
and we are a bit in a hurry because we are going to watch the qualifying in the garage. Unfortunately not pole, but so far so good. We yeah. see what happens in the race. Well, we keep our fingers crossed for you guys. Well, we do that. Well, you're the expert here. So, can you just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain me something from the car? Because I've seen some really cool lights. Maybe you can explain them. So, let's just walk over. What's, what are these lights up for? Well, we have in total three lights. One red, one green, one blue. Um, the green light is always means that the car is safe. If we have a red light, then it means we are not allowed to touch the car at all. Okay, is so, it dangerous if you were to touch um, it? Well, if it's red, it is dangerous yeah. because no one knows the status of the car. And for that reason, this indicator is do not touch it. So when the car arrives in the pits, yeah. I'm responsible to make sure that the car is always in clean position and that there's no red light. We also have a blue light where quite a lot of people also ask what it's set for. And it's also very interesting because once we have a crash and the people know that the car had an impact more than 3G, so the rescue guys have to take care more or less when they take him out of the car because they know that they had a quite hard impact on the car. So for that reason that's blue light. But the green light is main important thing for us that we know the car safe. Okay, well um, I've also heard that the whole dry uh, ice thing is really exciting. So can you tell me something yes. about it, like the amount you need for the weekend or something? Yeah, we have, uh, for here now we have 650 kilograms of dry ice. Um, we use that to cool down our rest our battery, we call it rest, um, and um, our motor, because the temperature is everything in Germany, and if we have less temperature, that means we can take more energy, but also if we are too cold, we cannot get all the energy, so we have to be always in a certain um, position with our temperature, and for that reason we use the coolers to cool the car down, and yeah, to keep a cool head, a cool car, and try to win the race with a cool engine and a cool battery. Okay, so thank you so much for the really good information and the insights. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. And keep pushing for the race. Yes, we will. Cross your fingers. Yeah, and cool. push the knob. <laughs> Over. Our team made some really good progress. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video and see you next time around. <laughs>